Greetings, Fortniteers. This is Jiggy Sap. We're going to use Torin in this match, and I'm playing on my son's account. He's doing some serious grinding. I wanted to unlock maximum carnage for him. And all the Cube Queen stuff. Check her out. I kind of dig this skin. It reminds me of Valkyrie in the Marvel Comics comic books, not in the movie. That version doesn't look anything like the comic version. This is how she kind of looks when she was in the Defenders with Doctor Strange, the Hulk, and the Silver Surfer. Just to name a few. Alright, we're about to jump onto the battle bus here. Let's see, consume an apple and a banana. Build a structure after taking damage. Ring a doorbell till it breaks, that's an easy one. We're gonna go for the Brute. This match is called Brute versus Brute. I had a crazy idea to get one of the brutes and then go find the other brute and have a confrontation. You guys are going to see that unfold in this match. There's the challenges for the cube queen. I played this match over the weekend. I think it was Saturday or Sunday. I can't remember. I also noticed that Kakashi had a massive punch card. You have to hit your enemies with paper bomb kunai like a million times. That's never going to happen. Season ends on Saturday, and I imagine that Sunday is going to be the blackout day, and then Monday, which is my birthday, will be the very first day of Chapter 3, Season 1. I cannot wait for that. I wish I could take the day off from work. Alright, we got the Brute. Uh-oh, looks like that guy sabotaged my Brute. Too bad. I'm gonna make him pay for that. There's two people running away. I can't remember which one was the one that sabotaged the brute. There's a harpoon gun. Alright, let's get my ego first. Get over here. I sound like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Alright, where'd the other dude go? I'm hearing rumors that Madcap, I believe that's the name of the NPC inside there, is gonna be a skin available next season. Almost took me out, but nope, I took you out. I was watching the Llama Series channel, one of my personal favorites. He always gives away a bunch of tips and secrets. And one of them is that Madcap is probably going to be in the item shop next season, if not in the Battle Pass. Some of the other skins I'm hearing about are Spider Man and the foundation. We'll see if that actually happens or not. And we should get another Toon skin. I wonder which one that will be. We already got Toon Meow Skulls, Toon Fish Stick. Who's the other one? I know there was a loading screen from last season. It's whoever the third character is. I can't think of it right now. You guys probably know off the top of your heads. Alright, we got the Brute. We just had to wait for another one to drop. I think you have to wait about a minute or two before they drop another brute. After this match, we're gonna go to McDonald's. Right, let's head over to Fortnite Wiki right now as I'm smashing up this house. Torin is a legendary outfit in Fortnite Battle Royale that can be unlocked by purchasing all of the cosmetics on page 8 of the Chapter 2 Season 8 Battle Pass. She is part of the Sideway Fairer set, and I think she's the daughter of the Cube Queen. That could be incorrect. Speaking of the Cube Queen, we're gonna get the Cube Assassin tonight as part of the Fortnite crew for December. I cannot wait for that. I wanna see if I can get a good match before the end of the season. All right, Torrin comes in various selectable styles. Default, which I'm using in this match. Sideways Warrior. And different colors too. Sideways Stalker, where she has black hair. Blue Rune. Purple Rune. And Golden Rune, which is a really cool skin. I might try and use that before the end of the season too. And as a character, you could find her at the Aftermath. By character, I mean NPC. Or boss. A talented hunter with a unique ability to travel to the sideways at will. 
Torin doesn't want to talk about her unique connection to the sideways, she's here to hunt monsters and develop new tech for hunting monsters. End of discussion. Character Collection Book Torin can be found as a character at the Convergence, near the outskirts. And she's got a couple emotes she plays around with. Battle Call and Sideways Shift, which is the final emote that you unlock for the Torin outfit. I don't think I unlocked it yet when I was playing this match. I definitely unlocked it a few days later though. Alright, let's head for the loot drop and the other brew. This is going to be fun. So as we walk on over to meet the other brute, these are some of the character interactions with the torn NPC found near the Convergence. We're going near there too, we're going to Risky Reels. Just stop at this barn here. Oops, don't want to do that, I just blew up a gas can by accident. So if you talk to the torn NPC, she might say, What do you want? I'm kind of busy. And here's her quests. Enter the sideways. You think you could handle the sideways? Prove it. Check out that barn that was on fire. That's pretty crazy. Buy bandages. No refunds. Imagine bringing back some used bandages. It's kind of gross. Reveal future storm circle. I don't think I ever do that. It's actually pretty handy information. Yeah, I've got storm data. Buy a med kit. Sure, take this. And your first encounter with Torin. Name's Torin, I hunt monsters. Let's keep this strictly business. We're almost at risky reels here. There's the other brute. It doesn't look like they're in the brute. Looks like they just got the reach. So we have to jump on them. There's the countdown at the end. That's just awesome. Who's gonna win? Brute versus Brute. Ooh, looks like I took them out. No, I'll take out the Brute. The explosion. That was pretty awesome. Looks like my Brute's the better Brute. I think I'm gonna celebrate with some ramen. Show you style. Alright, let's see what he dropped. Looks like that NPC was questioning my presence for a moment there. Armored wall, a purple pump, good stuff. Alright, 2,000 plus bars. If you want to use those bars for good, I have some research projects. wonder what those would entail. Visited the sideways. Anything new to report from the sideways? Yeah, I had a good time. I saw some cube monsters. Alright, we've got a quest from rags here. From rags to riches. Since the last played match, you're joining the hunt. Good. And these are her punch card challenges. Enter the sideways. You think you can handle the sideways? Prove it. Call yourself a hunter if you want, but we're the ones being hunted. Collect a sideways weapon. The weapons in there? They're powerful. I'd grab one if you can. Don't point that thing at me. Damage players with a sideways weapon. Sideways weapons have a real kick to them. Get used to it. Maybe you'll be useful in this hunt after all. And there's the fort they're constructing for Saturday's event, The End. That's going to be pretty awesome. And I was coming over here to see if another brute had landed since I blew up the other one. We'll kick it for a moment and see if that happens. And back to the NPC Torin and her punch card challenges. Eliminate cube monsters in the sideways. This is it. It's time to prove yourself as a hunter. Huh, you survived. Good work. Complete a sideways encounter. If you can manage a full hunt, I'll be really impressed. Fine. If you don't ask any personal questions, you can join my hunt. That's good. Crystal. Pretty sweaty skin. You are out of the game. Crystal's a sweaty skin, however, the brute even more sweaty. Here's some trivia about Torin. This should be fun. Torin's CID is 
CIDA 200 Athena Commando F Ghost Hunter. She can be found as a character near the aftermath. I think we just covered that. Look at that. I just completed a quest by consuming some shield. Alright, some more trivia on Torin. She has a built in emote called Sideways Shift. This transforms her into her secondary style, the Sideways Warrior. At the time of playing this match on my son's account, I still have not unlocked that. I'll have to play again on this account if I have time. There's Charlotte. Are you going to be cool or are we going to have problems? Seems like there's a rift between these two gals. Quest accepted and back into my smoking brute. Let's take one last look to see if another brute came down. No. Maybe there's a limit. Maybe they only drop two. I could be wrong. Alright, some more trivia on Torrin. In her rune styles, the color of her hair, tips, eyes, and clothing are blue, purple, and gold, respectfully. For some reason, in the Battle Pass trailer for Chapter 2 Season 8, she was seen in the Chinese version of her. That's interesting. Especially since China dropped Fortnite altogether earlier this year. Alright, moving on. Looks like the storm's on my butt. Which is also smoldering and sparking. Just call me Sparky. So Epic Games dropped a whole bunch of news this week. Which makes sense, because the end event is a Saturday. It's going to be 1 p.m. my time, that's Pacific Standard Time. I cannot wait for that, that's going to be awesome. Looks like someone shooting at me. So I'm going to shoot back at them. And here comes the storm. I think we're going to abandon this fight. Looks like they've moved on as well. Alright, back to EpicGames.com. They dropped a few pieces of news today. Fortnite Creative, Creator Content Rules, and Guidelines. Introducing Fortnite Party Worlds. And the other one is Play Blast from the Past Max before Chapter 2 ends. I think we'll look at that one first. And the other ones if we have time. Pause for a moment. I'm going to take out this one first. We have entered Tony Cross and they're going for the gun. Nope, they gave it up. Goodbye. But that's not all. There's another player over here too. There they are. They're hiding in the bush. Come on, Daryl Hannah. You are out of the game. Sorry, I think that skin looks like Daryl Hannah from Kill Bill. Alright, 10 players remain. And here we go back to EpicGames.com to check out today's news. Play Blast from the Past maps in Fortnite as Chapter 2 comes to a close. As Fortnite turns from Chapter 2 to what's next, Chapter 3, there are few better times to take a look back at the past. From now until December 4th, Jump into the Blast from the Past row in the Discover screen, featuring five player made maps based on Fortnite's history Tilted Zone Wars, Athena Royale, Prison Breakout, Death Run, Kevin the Cube, and Pirates of Fortilla. That sounds interesting. Sounds like a cross between Chapter 1, Season 8 and Chapter 2, Season 3. Take a trip down memory lane before new ones are formed. I'm sure we'll be putting together some new memories from Chapter 3. I wonder what's going to happen. I hear Spider-Man is going to be there. That's going to be pretty cool. And here's some more news. Introducing Fortnite Party Worlds. What's that? Creators. That's me. We'd like to introduce you to the new Party Worlds experiences. These are experiences that are designed as places for players to hang out, play fun minigames, and make new friends. As if I had the time to do that. Here are two example Party Worlds that got made in collaboration with Epic. Walnut World by 5walnut, and Late Night Lounge by Trey JTH. 
What is the difference between party worlds and hubs? I don't know. What is it? Although players can hang out in hubs, their main purpose is to surface fun content in islands and to help players discover creative experiences. Party worlds are places that are designed to be fun locations to hang out with friends and potentially make new ones. Like this guy here, we just made friends. I'm just kidding, he's probably mad at me. Party worlds is a space where you can go relax, have a good time, and play some mini games. Unlike hubs, party worlds will not link to other islands, so they won't serve as a discovery tool. Create your own social space. Sounds kind of like Facebook. This is just the beginning. What are the places you'd like to hang out with your friends? We want you to create your own party worlds and show us the most amazing party locations you can think of. We can't wait to see what you come up with. And they just cover the guidelines for Party Worlds creations. You guys can head to epicgames.com and check that out yourselves. And I tried to grind out the Rainbow Racer Challenge in Creative. I must have played that about seven or eight times. It glitches out every time. I saw someone on YouTube that completed it and I grabbed the code off their YouTube channel. So after this match, you are gonna see me unlock the Rainbow Racer banner, although I did not complete the game itself. I couldn't, it glitched out before I could complete it. Too bad, I was gonna make a nice video for you guys of me completing the Rainbow Racer challenges. A lot of it is driving. I do admit, it's pretty fun for parkour. And you guys know how I feel about parkour. I blame Fall Guys for selling me to that experience. You guys know anyone that does parkour in real life? That's a thing, by the way. I think Tony Ja, the Thai actor, does parkour. He also does Thai kickboxing, of course. Tony Ja was in the movie's own Bach from years ago. I saw the first one at a film festival down in Hollywood. And Tony Ja was there with some of his stunt team and they performed the stunts live. It was pretty awesome. Alright, I think we could sneak out this last piece of news that Epic Games dropped today. Fortnite Creative. Creator content rules and guidelines. Dear Fortnite creators, especially Jiggy Seb. I'm just kidding, I just made that up. Fortnite Creative aims to be a safe and welcoming environment for everyone, so content must follow rules to ensure this. These community rules for creators outline appropriate ways to create and share content for creative islands on Fortnite. And it just covers the content rules and guidelines. If you guys are a creator, you can check it out yourselves on epicgames.com. That's going to do it for news that Epic Games dropped today. And I noticed there's only three other players left in the match. And since I come in number three, the end of the match is coming pretty quick. Sorry, that was a spoiler alert. Thought I'd go a little bit further than third place. However, I wanted to get one good match in with Torin. I think seven eliminations is all right. I had a brute versus brute. Not the worst match in the world. Not the best either. As I said earlier, I want to try and get in a match with the Cube Assassin once I unlock her tonight. I'll also put together a short unlocking video for you guys once I get her. Why not? Let's take out a bounty. At the very least, that'll triangulate one of my opponent's locations. I like that word, triangulate. Alright, all the action lies just beyond that wall there. So we're gonna build a little rampy poos here. Protect my six. Always a wise thing to do. And one player dropped out of the game. Looks like someone built something on top of that tower up there. And since the storm is washing over it, I highly doubt they're still there. Let's get rid of this tree. It's obscuring my view. Looks like all the action's going on dead ahead. I know at least one player is there. I bet you the other player is hiding in the bush to the right. However, not anymore. 
And thanks to the eye of the storm, looks like I'll be able to kick it here for another 30 seconds before I have to move. Right, make sure I'm ready to go. Tried to shoot a shockwave grenade over there, get a lucky hit, no dice. Is this tree in the way, or is it protecting me? You decide. Alright, 10 seconds left, and I gotta move. Someone poached my bounty. Alright, let's build on over there. This tree's in the way again. Alright, moving closer. In retrospect, I should have been using the armored walls. They wouldn't have been able to shoot through it like they did. Building up a ramp. Where are you? Two players left. One of them is in that building for sure. Where is the other player? Alright, continuing to inch forward here. Now I'm building with the armored walls. Might as well use them if you got them. Alright, where are you guys at? I feel like this is a pretty secure location up here. Still haven't found my opponents. It's a pretty crazy ending for a game. I know one of them is in there, there. Let's see if I could shot her down into the storm. Nope. Pretty soon the storm is going to push me out, so I might as well build closer to that fort. Oops, they knocked me out of the storm. Here's the one. Got stuck on this wall here. And here comes Condor to take me out of the game. Eliminated by Duplex Diamond 66. Well, got pretty close to the end. Let's see who wins. Is it going to be Condor or the other player? Looks like Master Chief one. There they are celebrating with the Ghostbusters emote. And here it is. The Rainbow Racer banner icon. Bam. Don't forget to support our creator. J-I-K-K-Y-S-E-F. That spells Jicky Seth. Accept it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great fortnight.